What is crack a and collect the cultist click the here again today with another Funko Pop review. Today we have the 2019 Fall Convention Limited Edition Exclusives from, I think it's New York Comic Con. Now I've got a lot here guys, there's more down here. I do believe I have eight of these figures uh, to show today. So if you guys want to sit back, relax and enjoy this review, as I said guys, find yourself a comfy seat and let's get into it. Alright guys, as I said, we have tons of Funko Pops here. I don't even know where to start, to be quite honest. But I think we're gonna start with, we're gonna start with Iron Man, Sir Stark. That's who we're gonna start with today, I think, because I'm sure I have a few Marvel fans out there. So let's take a look at the box here. Uh, as you can see, really nice stuff. And that's the set, uh, that's a recent set that came out for Endgame. So yeah guys, I'm digging this one already, really cool stuff. And we're gonna take this guy out and have a look-see at this pop right now. Alright guys, this guy's got tons of details, I really am digging that suit, that power armor, look at that stuff, nice gold and red going through there, you can see all the intricate details of the armor, really am digging this one, I love the bobblehead that comes with this one as well, uh, as Marvel characters do come with bobbleheads, as, as with the Star Wars figures as well. Now the hair looks really good, it's really detailed, I really am digging this, check it out guys, tons of detail on the hair there, got that little goatee going on there. But I really love this uh, piece right here. Is it the Infinity uh, Gauntlet? Uh, I can't remember what the exact name. It's got all the little Infinity Stones in there as well. All right, guys, head test for Mr. Stark here. And the head is a wobbler, so it wobbles. So that's pretty cool, I guess, if you're into that sort of stuff. Got some stand-up tests, and he will stand up for you guys. Nice, solid feet there. So so if you want to take him outside the box, he'll stand up, and his head will wobble for you. Really, really cool stuff, guys. I am digging this pop, guys. I'm really happy to pick this one up. If you're a Marvel fan, definitely a must-have. All right, guys. Up next, we're going to get into some Simpsons, guys. And this is Evil Groundskeeper Willy. This this is epic. I do like this pop. Let's check the box out here for a second. Uh, there's a set, uh, the Treehouse of Horrors. This is a set I haven't got yet, actually. But I had to pick this guy up today because I just love the uh, the pun on uh, Nightmare of Elm Street. We're going to take this guy outside and have a look at the details. All right, guys. So we got groundskeepers Willie there. Look at this roughneck. Look at this. Look at the beard on this guy. He's quite an intimidating character, guys. And this guy's from Scotland. He's a bit of a Scottish boy. But um, I love it how they've done the rake here. That's his weapon of choice. Really sharp edges there. And he's got that sort of. Uh, it's like a jumper of some sort. It reminds me of uh, what's his face from Nightmare of Elm Street, guys. Freddy Krueger. That's it. That's what he reminds you of. All right, guys. Up next is Willie's <laughs> Willie's head test. Uh, it's nice and stiff and it can be articulated all the way around there. Nice 360. Once you find a bit of a center there, he will stand up for you guys if you want to take him outside the box. But yeah, uh, I really am digging this one. Look at the angry teeth in there too. You can feel every bit of that texture in the teeth. Everything is really well done on this one. Really cool stuff. Really am digging this one guys. I, I do like this one. Up next, uh, a personal favorite of mine, we have Vampire Mr. Burns. And this one is a nice piece guys. I, <laughs> I really do like the way they've done this one. Uh, so we're gonna waste any more time here getting him outside the box, eh? All right, guys, here's Mr. Burns as a vampire. And now this pop is quite tall compared to the other ones. It's actually got a t quite a bit of length to it. I really am digging out they made this one a lot more pale than Groundskeeper Willy uh, because the yellow, who uh, is dead, guys, is a vampire. So they made it more, you know, pale, more pale. Nice details there. I like how they've done that little touch. Because that, that little, I can't remember what that, I don't even know what that is on Mr. Burns, but he has these three little dots. Could be like a birthmark or some moles maybe on the top of the head there. I really like how they've done the fingers as well. As you can see there, the fingers, so it's all like weird and he's got this sort of weird thing going on there and he's got the teeth as well. You can see the fangs. Got this awesome little gown he's wearing. Nice reds there. And the hair's not too bad guys. Sort of looks like Mickey Mouse from behind there. Or something like that, I don't know. Look, look, there's definitely a bulbous piece of hair with little bits of texture running through it. All right, head test for Mr. Burns and it's a nice articulation guys. Nice articulation there and the stand-up test. Nice flat surface there, he will stand up for you guys outside the box. This piece is uh, not a bad one, I actually do like this one though guys. Uh, definitely one of my fa personal favorites from The Simpsons uh, coming out this year. Really am liking this one. Alright guys, up next we have a pretty epic pop. Uh, this is a really good pickup for me because I really was hoping there was some of these left uh, today. And I got my hands on one so I'm pretty happy about it. Check this, oh, just check it out guys. It's fucking scary looking isn't it? Like, there's all the rest of them on the back there, the clowns, the crazy looking clowns. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'm going to take this guy out of the box because this guy has a ton of details we need to look at right now. All right, guys, check this guy out. Look how creepy this clown is. Check out all those wrinkles. Now, that is texture right there, guys. This is the stuff I like, guys, when they actually 3D detail every bit of wrinkle and texture. You can actually see all that. This is a really amazing pop. It actually is. Uh, a lot of people are going to probably find it quite disgusting or, or disturbing to look at. But uh, I think this is going to definitely make top 10 for me for this year's releases. Uh, it's just amazing, like the, the amount of detail in this thing. 
As you can see there, he's got this little gun down the bottom there. You can even see the wrinkles on his, on his fingers. Look at that, you can actually see the texture on that. Got this little bag there as well, that's pretty crazy. Got this little like, fat butt, like extra padding as clowns sort of sometimes wear that goofy looking padding to make themselves look more goofy. Check out the back of the hair there. You can actually see every bit of texture on there and feel it as well. And these weird little, I don't know what they are on top of the head there, uh, but I do like these, these are cool. And you can see the face paint there, and the black eyes really do suit the evil essence that this uh, character obviously has uh, about it. And I do like the, the black eyes that work well with the, this very colorful pop. Alright guys, check out this clown man, this, this thing is so freaky, but we're going to do the head test. And that even makes it more scary looking like he's possessed or something. Nice, someone call a priest. And yeah guys, he'll stand up for you uh, outside the box on a nice flat surface. This one is a good one guys, this is a definitely a uh, pick up. If you're into interesting colorful pops, this is definitely the one for you. All right guys, up next, a personal favorite of mine. We got some more Star Wars stuff and I'm super stoked we got a uh, Sand Trooper, guys. I don't know if we have a Sand Trooper other than the uh, Dewback and Sand Trooper that came out years ago, which I actually have. I actually have that uh, two part set thing. Uh, but um, I'm glad to see one that's just a singular pop. And uh, yeah, there's tons of uh, details on this. We're gonna take it outside the box and have a look. All right, guys, we got a wobblehead here too, or bobblehead, whatever you want to call it. I love these things. Look at that. That's crazy. It looks like a generic Imperial Trooper, but uh, as everyone knows, it's a Sand Trooper, and it's got that little pad on the side of the shoulder there, shoulder pad, to indicate that. We also have a lot of uh, dirt and smudge on this guy. You can just see the paint there. Quite messy. Really am digging that. Check out that backpack there too. And they put a ton of pigments in the gun and the backpack, as you can see there, like actual dirt's actually catching all the recesses of the actual weapon itself. All right guys, head test for the Sand Trooper, and this guy's a wobbler. Check that out guys. It's really epic. Uh, stand-up test, just like every other Star Wars figure from Funko Pop. Uh, they get a little stand here too, that's pretty cool. So he will stand outside the box if you guys want to take him out, and his head will wobble for you <laughs> if you want him to. They've done a really good job on this one guys. I really, really do like this one. Excellent piece, excellent piece. If you're a Star Wars fan, get in and get this thing as soon as you can. Alright guys, up next we have some My Hero Academia. Um, I actually haven't got into this anime yet, but this guy looked too cool not to pick up today. Uh, this is Darby, and uh, check out the box here, that's really cool, really epic. Really am intrigued by this anime, and hope to get into it and actually watch it. Some really cool character designs coming out from this uh, anime here. But anyway, we're getting inside here, and check out this epic pop. Oh jeez, check that out guys. Man, there's so much to talk about with this guy, I'll tell you that much. I'm liking this energy sort of flame effect down the bottom there already you can just see that it's like transparent and in the hand there as well you can see that that's really cool let's have a look at the back here because i want to get onto the head later because there's more stuff to talk about there but got this little cape flowing off the back here like a cloak actually it's like a coat really when you think about it uh but yeah i do like this look at that standing on this uh, little transparent base but the thing that i love about this pop is the face this guy's pretty fucked up when you think about it check out all those little stitches there in the face and i, I don't believe i don't know much about the anime uh maybe some fans could tell me about it but i'm pretty sure that might be even flesh i'm guessing uh, it just looks like flesh. There's tons of texture in that too. You can see a little nose piercing there too. I'm pretty sure it's a nose piercing. And he definitely looks like he's in pain almost. It's really cool. But the thing I love about this pop the most is the hair. Look at all those individual pieces of, of hair sticking out here. That's why I like the anime pops, guys. Tons of hair uh, texture. And really good sculpting goes into these uh, anime hairstyles and stuff. All right, Darby's up next for a head test. And this guy's head's nice and loose too. Nice and easy articulation there. Really good. Uh, stand up test. Uh, this one's got a nice uh, base here, uh, as you can see, a really epic base. And you can definitely pose him any way you wish outside the box. This one is really, really good. As I said, I don't even know much about the anime and stuff, and I had to pick it up because I just like the aesthetics of this one. And I'm really glad I did pick it up. It is a really, really nice pop outside the box. Alright, guys, I've been saving the best to last here. We have some Piccolo here. <laughs> some Piccolo. We have Piccolo here, and this is the meditating Piccolo. And I'm happy to finally have this one in my, in my hands. When I heard about this uh, guy's release uh, just a couple of days ago, I was like, dude, I have to get my hands on one of these. And I waited in line, I got my hands on one, so that's good. I didn't miss out. I, I just nearly missed out on this guy today, so it's good that I got one in my hands. Enough about the rambling, we're going to get inside and have a look at this green machine. Alright guys, check out the meditating piccolo. It's quite a peaceful looking pop, isn't it? It's very, he looks very relaxed. Uh, the thing I like about this the most is the cloak. It just flows so nicely, tons of texture. They they detailed that really well. Look at all that uh, texture there. I really do like the colors on this one. I just am a big fan of greens. I like how they've done the hands there too. Like he has nothing to worry about. He's in quite a deep state of thought. And they've just left the eyes closed enough so you can sort of tell that he's got those eyes closed and he's meditating. And also we got a transparent base here for him to stand up on too. 
So yeah, I really am digging this one guys. I'm a big fan of Piccolo and this is a nice addition to my collection. All right, Piccolo's up for the head test. It's got a bit of a stiff head this one, but it will be articulated. It can turn and be posed if you wish. And uh, the stand-up test, he comes with that base there too. Like he's floating around, really cool stuff. If you're a fan of this stuff, you should definitely go pick this guy up while you get the chance. This is a brilliant pop. Really good one, this one. All right, guys, say the best to last for me. This is the, the, the main man right here. This is the guy, once I saw this guy was being released, I said to myself, I'll do anything to get my hands on one of these. This is the final flash for Vegeta, guys. Like, I, I just love those uh, transparent action poses that Dragon Ball Z has been bringing out for, like, the Broly and, like, the Gohan and stuff. This is a great release for this uh, Vegeta here. I love this thing. But we're going to get outside the box and have a look at the details. Oh, jeez, guys, check this guy out. Look at the transparency in that, in that blast attack there. That is so good. That is epic. Look at that. That's nice electricity coming off it, too. The thing I like about this one is the dust coming from the feet there. Like, he's actually powering up, and all the power is pushing all this dust behind him. I like the position he is uh, prone in. He's putting a lot of effort into that powerful attack. The head's pretty uh, much the same as all the other Super Saiyan Vegeta's that have been coming out. Now, Vegeta's up for a head test, and he can actually... Oh, okay, so we're running into some problems there. You don't, I don't want to push that too hard, guys. Ooh, looks like I might be even caught. Yeah, the head only articulates as far as that, and it will hit these things here. Uh, Stand-up test, he has sort of a base going on there, so he, yeah, he'll stand up perfectly fine on a flat surface there. Really nice pop, this one. I love this one. Uh, but, you know, this is just a great piece, guys. Really nice piece, this one. Really, really stoked I got both the Piccolo and this guy from my Dragon Ball Z collection. All right, guys, so enough about that. We're going to move on to my rating now and talk about that. All right, boys and ladies, can't fit them all on the table here, but um, I'm going through my rating now, and you guys should know how I do this. I do this at two parts of five, and equal those two parts out of a 10 as a total score. Now, the first part of this rating is uh, I check for any defects that come straight from the box. Now, every one of these pops are really, really good. I found no real defects, except for the clown, unfortunately. It did have some mold lines, like some nice thick ones, like chunky uh, mold lines you can actually see. And the one on the boot there, you can probably t like push that off with your own thumb if you wanted to. Uh, which is a real shame because uh, this one's probably the most detailed one out a lot and probably the best one out of the whole lot in my opinion. So all of these are going to get a 5 out of 5 guys and this guy here is going to get a 4 just for those stupid mole lines unfortunately. But other than that, yeah, pretty good score for the out of the box. Basically no defects on any of these, uh, just as I said, the tiny bits of mold lines. Alright guys, for the second part of this review, I go on how Funko designed these pops from the franchise. And I do a little bit of a recap and pans outside while I talk about this. Alright, this convention was really, really good. There's so many good pops coming out for this one. Alright, so we're going to start off with Stark here. He's a really good pop. The hair's good. Uh, if you're a fan of Marvel, this is a definite uh, pickup if you want to get one of these into your collection. Go and get this guy right now. This guy is a really, really decent pop. Really, really awesome, this one. That's going to be a 5 out of 5 for this guy right here. With a total score of 10 for the Stark man. On to the next one, we're going to look at Willy here. Willy's a good pop. He's... he's, he's Got a lot of comedy value going on here. Decent pop, tons of cool stuff going on with this one. Uh, that's going to get a 5 for me as well, so that's a 10 out of 10 for this uh, Scottish Madman. As for Mr. Burns for the Vampire Pop, I do like this pop, it's really cool. Uh, nothing wrong with this pop, this guy's getting a 10 out of 10 as well, guys. Really decent pop. Uh, for the Dabby Pop, uh, this one is so good, I really, really was surprised with this one. I, I know nothing about the franchise uh, in the anime. But uh, I think this guy is going to be my jump into this anime, guys. I just love the character design in this one. Uh, this one is so good. I really do like the way Funko went about doing this one. This one is going to get a 5 out of 5 too. So it's a total score of 10 for the uh, My Hero Academia pop. Uh, for the clown, uh, unfortunately, the mold lines are really bad in this one. Other than that, guys, this thing is the best pop I picked up today. It's getting a 5 out of 5 uh, for its score. And uh, for the total score there, it's going to get a 9 out of 10, guys. As I said, it's a really good pop. Just those mold lines uh, let down. All right, for the Sand Trooper, uh, as I said, guys, Star Wars is a must-have when it comes to picking up exclusive pops for me. And this one really delivered. I do like this pop a lot. I'm glad I have this one in my collection too. That's going to get a 5 out of 5 for a 10 for a total score. Piccolo is just an amazing piece, piece of uh, kid, guys. Uh, I have to say that's a 5 out of 5 for me as well. This thing is really, really good. Uh, one of the best ones today as well. So that's a total score of 10 out of 10, guys. Epic pop. The uh, Vegeta just blows everything out of the water for me. Uh, this thing is amazing. I'm glad I've got uh, this piece in my collection. Uh, I'm going to give that a straight 5 out of 5 too, guys. So that's going to be a 10 out of 10 for Mr. Vegeta. All right, guys, so that's going to be my, my rating and review for these pops today. These are really good, guys. If you get a chance to go pick them up, go down, pick them up as soon as you can. They're just epic pieces. 
All right, so I'm going to leave it with you guys. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like for me. That would really help me out. And if you're new to my channel, go check out some of the stuff I do on my channel and maybe sub up if you wish. And if you do that, hit the notification bell so you don't forget anything that I do put up on this channel. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to leave it with you. Alright guys, that's it for me for this weekend. Uh, I'm gonna get into editing this video. So yeah guys, for you collectors out there, keep on collecting and um, have a good weekend. I'll see you in the next one. Alright, click sign out.